Ever wondered how the Sahara, the world's largest hot desert, teems with life despite its harsh conditions? Spanning across the northern part of Africa, this vast expanse of sand and heat stretches over 9 million square kilometers. That's roughly the size of the United States. The Sahara is notorious for its extreme temperatures, which can soar to well over 50 degrees Celsius during the day and plummet below freezing at night. Water is scarce, and when the winds whip up, they can trigger sandstorms that last for days. Yet, against all odds, life finds a way. This seemingly inhospitable desert is home to a diverse array of wildlife, from the resilient dromedary camel to the elusive fennec fox, from the majestic Saharan cheetah to the unique desert crocodile. Each creature has adapted to thrive in the Sahara's challenging environment. Though it might seem impossible, the Sahara is far from a barren wasteland. It is a thriving ecosystem. How do animals survive in the harsh Sahara desert? Sahara, a vast desert stretching across northern Africa, is a place of extreme temperatures. By day, it can scorch with heat exceeding 120 degrees Fahrenheit, while at night, it can plunge below freezing. It's a land of extremes, yet it teems with life. How does the wildlife survive here? Let us find out. Sahara's residents have adapted to be nocturnal, taking advantage of the cooler temperatures once the sun dips below the horizon. One such creature is the fennec fox, the smallest species of fox worldwide. With their oversized ears, they are not only incredibly cute, but these ears also serve a vital function. They dissipate heat, helping these little foxes keep cool during those hot desert days. At night, they emerge from their dens to hunt for insects, small rodents and birds. Then there is the iconic dromedary camel, often known as the ship of the desert. With their single hump, which stores fat and not water as commonly believed, these camels can travel for days without food or water. Their long legs keep their bodies away from the hot sand, while their thick coats insulate them from both the heat of the day and the chill of the night. They are perfectly adapted to desert life. Lastly, let's not forget the Desert Monitor Lizard. Equipped with a unique system of nasal salt glands, these lizards can consume salty water without any ill effects, something most animals cannot do. They feast on a diet of insects, small mammals and eggs, making them a vital part of the desert ecosystem. Surviving the Sahara is not easy. It requires unique adaptations, a specialized diet and a certain level of toughness. It's a testament to the resilience of life showing us that no matter how harsh the environment, life always finds a way to adapt, to survive, and to thrive. Incredible adaptations prove that life always finds a way, even in the most challenging conditions. What threats do Sahara wildlife face? Well, the challenges are indeed many, and they are not solely confined to the harsh desert conditions. Human activities, particularly hunting and habitat destruction, pose significant threats to the diverse wildlife that call the Sahara home. Overzealous hunting for game and trade, coupled with rampant habitat destruction, has led to a worrying decline in the populations of many species. These factors, largely driven by human activity, are putting immense strain on an ecosystem already pushed to the edge by its inherent harshness. The wildlife of Sahara, despite its resilience, is not immune to the threats posed by humans. How can we protect the Sahara's wildlife? This is a question that rings with urgency and responsibility. The Sahara, a land of extremes, is teeming with life that has adapted to its harsh conditions. Yet, these resilient creatures face formidable threats, primarily from human activities. Efforts play a pivotal role in protecting them. These include designating protected areas and implementing stringent regulations on hunting. Such measures help to maintain the delicate balance of the Sahara's ecosystems, ensuring that its wildlife continues to thrive. Education is key in fostering respect for wildlife. When we understand the value of these creatures and their role in the ecosystem, we become more inclined to act responsibly. Equally important are individual actions. Simple daily habits, such as reducing waste and choosing sustainable products, can make a significant difference. The future of Sahara's wildlife lies in our hands. It's up to us to ensure that these incredible creatures survive for generations to come. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.